I'm Prue Leith and I'm here at the National Railway Museum in New York. In the 70s and 80s, I was very involved with British Rail and I ended up on the British Rail Board. I'm here to answer your questions that you put on to Instagram. So here goes. I would be really upset if they banned all eating on public transport because I think one of the great pleasures of rail travel is eating on the train is I just love that old-fashioned thing of the scenery going past and you're sitting there preferably with a glass of wine and a really nice dinner. I was the first woman on the British Railways Board and when I joined it I was also by far the youngest member so I did find it really intimidating. It seemed to me that everybody else was a real grown up and they were mostly Scottish engineers and they knew all about running trains. So I did feel a bit that I had to prove myself not just because I was a woman but because I was young because why on earth was I there? But my sort of trump card was that I really felt I represented the passenger and I could go on about the passenger or the customer as they're now called, um, which tended not to be talked about much on the British Rail Board when I first joined it. Do you know the biggest challenge that I've ever faced in my career was absolutely nothing to do with trains. Um, it was getting the fourth plinth in Trafalgar Square with a statue on it. I was chairman of the Royal Society of Arts at the time, so I could gather some influential people who knew about art, which I didn't know very much about. And um, one of them suggested that if we had contemporary sculpture, which was just a rolling exhibition so that you never had a work up there for more than a year, that all the objections would fall away because it would take somebody longer to get a sculpture taken down than it would be up there anyway. And that's, that's been so. We've never had an objection since. If I have a legacy, it is that that I'm proud of. When I was on the board of Travellers Fair, worrying about the sandwiches, one of the complaints that we would get was all about how there was a one, they, the customer said, why can't we have the bacon booty that you get on the Taunton line, which is absolutely delicious, but we can't get it on the Hereford line, and we can't get it anywhere else. Why can't we have that sandwich? I thought, that's very interesting. We don't do a bacon booty. It's not part of the British Rail thing. And then, of course, we investigated and found the stewards had a little private enterprise going. I mean, they were bringing in bread and bacon and making really good bacon butties hot and flogging them to all the passengers on the train who were delighted and had no idea that this was just <laughs> um, a bit of fiddling, really. Sadly, we put a stop to it. It's a pity because they were good bacon sandwiches. I love trains. I've always loved trains. I used to do the catering on the Orient Express train. And I, I do remember the joy of um, waking up with looking out of the window and seeing Mont Blanc outside with a beautiful tray of coffee and croissant before you. It was fantastic. But in Britain, my favourite train journey is um, the one that my husband and I did for our wedding honeymoon. We had five days. We got married in Edinburgh and then we got on the um, Royal Scotsman and we went all round sort of Glam's Castle and um, Ballandulloch and all round the highlands and highways of Scotland and it was just beautiful. Good food too and a lot of whiskey. My most memorable showstopper on Bake Off was in one of the celebrity Bake Offs for Stand Up to Cancer and it was Harry Hill and he did, they were told they had to do their most memorable holiday in cake. And he did a scene on a beach and he called it My Weekend with Cam Camilla Parker Bowles or My, my Day Off with C Camilla Parker Bowles or something. And he pretended that he'd had this wonderful Hawaiian or something, some exotic beach holiday. And there was Camilla in a bikini lying on a, on a lilo and palm trees. And it was just absolutely hilarious because, of course, it was all entirely made up. He didn't even know Camilla Parker Bowles. 
but I hope she enjoyed it because it was a really funny day. Well, thank you very much for all your Instagram questions. Um, I hope I've answered them satisfactorily and go and take a train ride. It's worth it.